Habits can contribute to your success or misery. Why aren't people successful in life? I can tell you it's because of habitual habits that diminish their probability of sustainable success. Depending on what they are, our habits will either make us or break us. We become what we repeatedly do. Sean Covey The dictionary points out that a habit is a routine of behavior, it's a fixed way of thinking more or less about something. So if I have a habit of running every morning, exercising, and eating healthy meals every day to keep my body and mind healthy and sharp, then those are good habits. On the other hand, if I smoke cigarettes or vape every day, which causes harm and many diseases to my body and diminishes my health, then smoking is a bad habit. I have a saying that it's not what you are that holds you back, it's what you think you are not that holds you back. We have total control over our destiny, yet don't pursue it. The start of a habit is what you digest in your mind every minute of the day. Those thoughts, dreams, or visions become part of your subconscious that forms these habits. It's not what you are that holds you back, it's what you think you are not that holds you back. Day in and day out. Your mind is the sum total of the habits and thoughts that get into your subconscious. Those thoughts are put into actions, and those actions became habits. Sounds simple, yet why aren't people successful in life? John Dryden says we first make our habits, and then our habits make us. If you don't like the results you see every day, then change it. Your habits will determine your future. Jack Canfield So, if you like where you are going, then stay on the path. If not, then change your direction. I have three suggestions. Read books that will inspire you, that will motivate you, and that will give you purpose. For example, read the Bible, chapters in Proverbs and or the book Psalm. Read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and or The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell. Digest these materials day and night. You must be intentional about pouring into your subconscious the pure, the powerful, and the purposeful. Lastly, listen to successful people and study how they form successful habits. Surround yourself with successful people. There's a saying, you are the average of the five people you associate with. If you hang around highly motivated and successful people, then it will rub off on you. Doubt you are the average of the five people you associate with, Miles Monroe. If you are unable to change your habits, then join a men's or a women's group that not only uplift you but will hold you accountable. Success comes with deliberate actions and behaviors. These actions and behaviors form habits and routines. When we fail, many times it's easy to lose confidence within ourselves. You must visualize and believe that you can change bad habits into good habits. Remember, success comes with deliberate actions.